Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on this Saturday. My name is Jean-Pierre, or Jean Henderson Pierre, um, TV Ramble slash Beer Review, and today we're going to review a very popular light beer in America. Yes, that beer, Coors Light. Introduced in 1978 by Coors Brewing Company in Colorado. Of course, the light version of Coors. Um, so again, introduced in 1978, 4.2% uh, ABV by volume. I'm pouring in my little frosty mug glass, as you can see here. Uh, rated very poorly by many. Uh, of course, Beer Advocate gives it an awful score of 50. Um, yeah, the bros also give it a very score, which is around, I guess, maybe somewhere near, maybe about the same, 40, about in the 40s as well. Uh, Ray Beer, you know what that site is like. In any event, um, it's, of course, back in history of light beers really began in the 70s, mid-70s, around the time people were looking to get more health conscious, um, low dis. You know, uh, people were still drinking Bud and Schlitz and, you know, Pabs and those styles of beer. But, you know, at that point, they were looking for something a little more. They still wanted to drink beer, but without all the calories. So, in comes this beer, which was introduced in 1978, about the same time uh, Miller Lite was also introduced in 1978 as well um, by Miller Brewing Company. So, as you see by the color of the beer... foam, a lot of very clear, very yellowish look to it, smell, see my top is a little foamy, but smell a little bit of corn, excuse me, um, a little sugary, but mostly corn, but, um, um, I was going to say about this beer, really not much to say. Again, um, people were looking to find something health, more, more like I said, to be healthy. They didn't want to drink beer, but they didn't want to overdo it and not put on the weight. Um, of course, the first beer to, to do that actually was Natural Light, which uh, came on the scene in 1977. Uh, by Anheuser-Busch. It was known at the time uh, Anheuser-Busch Light. I'm an Anheuser-Busch Natural. Um, or or Bush Natural. But, you know, of course, you may have seen the commercials were very famous. Mickey Mantle, Norm Crosby. Um, uh, you have, uh, of course, the guy Jay Johnson. You can call me Jay. You can call me, you know, yeah. So... Um, so I did a review, uh, last week of, uh, this, uh, Coors Light, uh, Citrus Rattler, which is a fruity beer. Uh, some of you probably may have uh, did, tried it. Um, again, um, at the time when light beers came on the scene, of course, then after getting back to the story with, uh, with Natural Light, um, which was a big seller, big seller, and it was probably one of, was a very premium beer. Um, now, Natural Light is viewed as sort of an economic beer, um, uh, you know, a budget beer, budget, a budget light beer. Um, so it's Milwaukee's Best, Light, um, Bush Light, another popular brand. Um, Keystone Light, which is the little brother of Coors Light. Um, some would say Keystone Light and Coors Light are the same. I, I don't know. Maybe. But for half the price... Um, you can't diss it. It's the second most uh, popular beer in America. Um, look at their sales. Uh, Two billion dollars in sales right now behind, of course, the king that is Bud Light. And um, I'm not a fan of Bud Light, but if someone offered it to me, I'll drink it, but I'm not a fan of it. Um, anyway. Um, of course, like, of course, has some great advertising back in the day.
So you may remember some of their ads that they had um, with uh, Spud McKenzie. Remember, remember the dog, the silver bullet. Um, some of their commercials on television were quite funny. Um, you've had, um, of course, recently you had uh, Jamie back in the day in the '90s. Um, this um, Jamie Fox did some commercials with that um, Ice uh, Ice Cube. Um, this beer was one of the was the official beer of the NFL. It sponsored a lot of events. You see it on commercials a lot, you know. So a very popular beer. Um, I don't get despised a lot. Again, I'm kind of you know I really don't care what people say. I'm, I'm kind of budget conscious on what I buy in beer, um, even when it comes to craft beer. Um, I did the Abbey Ale the other day um, by Abita. Uh, it was like three ninety nine for a little size, um, for that pint size glass bottle I had. Um, and what's cool thing about going well, and it's a place I go get that beer and a couple other places where I don't have to buy a six pack. I just buy that bottle or whatever and I can just get, um, and then just, I can sample and try it for myself without hurting my wallet. So, and decide whether I get it again or not. Um, but anyway, back to the course light. Um, again, it's. You know, it's it, it is what it is. Uh, it's, it's a light lager style beer. Um, pair again, paired with barbecue. You know, hot wings. Um, you know, uh, it will go go well with that. You know, Mexican food. <sighs> Very carbonated beer. And it's going to be a warm day. The humidity is supposed to go up today here in Mobile. So I guess so. Uh, why not start now? But, um, uh, but yeah, but, you know, the light beer craze is, as you look at the top 20 beers, all of them are all light beers. Uh, Bush Light, um, you know, on the, the, the top 20, you know, about seven of them, eight of those in the top 20 are all light beers. You know, Keystone Light, Bud Light, as I mentioned, the top seller. Um, bush light, natural light, you know, people want, people like light beers and, um, and they, they're going to be around and these stores sell them like crazy. I mean, they go through these things. They go through Bud Light and come around Mardi Gras here in this town. Uh, Coors Light, Coors Light, Coors Light, going through, going through. Uh, I have a friend of mine who loves, he loves Coors Light. So, um, this beer is also popular overseas. I uh, mean, um, Ireland, they, they love Coors Light. They, that's one of their things. So, I mean, it's not not much to say. It's a nice crisp finish. You know, goes down real easy. Like I said, it's gonna be a warm day today, and I'm about to head on. I want to do some errands right now. Um, like I said, it's not bad. You know. It's like I said, it doesn't get much praise from the beer community, and especially from the craft community, craft beer community. They don't particularly, they'll, they'll, you know, it's like effigy, you know, please don't bring that here, you know, you know, the sign, you know, yeah, <laughs> Coors Light. <laughs> um, but, you know, it has a place again, $2 billion in sales, you know, <clears throat> hey, what can you say? Um, I said, this is. It's a decent beer. Give this thing a, a, a B for light beer. Um, I don't really buy it often, but you know, again, I have it, and I said, let me do a review of it. A. So, uh, leave your comments. Tell me what you think about it. Um, the Bud Light. I mean, excuse me, sorry, Coors Light, and. Um, We'll do another review on something else down the road. Again, my name is Mr. Pierre, Jean-Pierre, GP of the TV Ramble. Enjoy. Cheers.